Hallo, hier ist Christian aus Berlin und ähm, ich bin auf euren Wunsch eingegangen. There's something wrong, right? Ah, strange dialect, it's called German. Okay, I want to say, the last video I published where I said, have you ever played these three chords, was really successful. And you helped me to point that out because you made a lot of likes. And can you see what this is? Ears. I hear you. So here's another one of that kind. <sighs> I think I found a couple of nice chords again and uh, just can play with the scale freely over them. And it sounds very different from just the normal 12 bar tonic, subdominant, dominant that you have everywhere on the internet. I think that's my speciality, maybe a little bit. Enjoy, enjoy improvising on this. See you later, bye bye, wherever you are. So the chords we are going to do today are C7, E7, F7 and G7. Isn't that marvelous? You can even leave your hands like this. I call it in the musical term of the eagle's claw. It's catching the, the, the bait. Ha! G7. Ha! E7. Yes, you can uh, Google it. It's a musical pianistic term. So, uh, but we played in a different order. We played, I play a little bit in the right hand and you watch the left hand doing these chords first before you delve, delve into the right hand, the bear's paw. Okay. Just marvelous. So what are we going to do? You see the form is just a regular, I don't know, it's a regular five and a half bars. No, it's a one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four, two bars, and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four or you can play that on the three so it's one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four bars it's eight bars it's eight bars strange number in music no it's not it's symmetrical we love anything symmetrical we love symmetrical faces we love symmetrical forms you see 12 is also symmetrical, 8 is also symmetrical and uh, something like a 9 fourth bar comes only with bands from jazz fusion like Maha Vishnu Orchestra who were under drugs all the time. That's why people under drugs like unsymmetrical numbers. So now what are we going to play in the right hand? We play the major blues scale and that we repeat that is this one. does not have the minor 7, yet, yet we can play it, but for the basses it's and then we'll see what we can do with it and I'll play you a couple of examples like last time, simple examples and then I confuse you with more professional stuff to make you frustrated again in the end. That's good teaching. That's a nice, nice modulation, huh? It's not even modulation. And we go back. A 
And then we take the G here, maybe. Again. Now. Ooh. It's the magic triangle. With a little swipe here. And we go up again. See? It's really simple to scale. I can just play it up and down and still sounds nice with these chords like Oh and Yeah, you can still just play it up and down and Famous calling, uh, but you can also just say a little bit. Now let's see about that seven again. Let's see about that seven. If we try it, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe fifty-fifty depends on the context. G, but here again, no. Yes, you see, it depends really which moment you pass. I sometimes don't know. Basically, most of the time, I don't know. It's just uh, like bingo. So every time it fits, you say like bingo. That's good for the music. This interruption. Okay. Uh, again, you can play this and then only these two. Um, don't care, care so much what I do. You can play it's it's random. I, sometimes I play both, uh, play all uh, notes at the same time. That's not the secret. We have our third slick here. That is just great for this. Okay, so we can even put little licks in it we know already. And it just, we don't care because this E7, you might think, hey, hey, Christian, hello, there is a G sharp, hello, it's not in the blue scale. Why does this fit? Because it's a passing harmony. And it's a passing harmony we learn to know, even if you're not conscious of it, from, from songs, from uh, pop songs, from blues songs, so we know there's something going to happen, it's going to go here. And the ear is willing to accept this tension, if we even play like... You see, there's a lot of forbidden stuff here. Well, not a lot, but... Uh, um, yet, it doesn't matter, because we are passing. Sometimes my students come to me and I teach them something like this, and then they come the next lesson after a week and they uh, say, like, Christian, this is not good music. And that's why they haven't understood the concept of time in music, when it's just passing and uh, it's, when, when I keep it uh, like this, yeah, then it's wrong, but I don't. And that's this, the important bit I'm going on. Again here. Try this one. This is nice. Mm. You can even bait here. We don't learn that, right? No, we skip that. No, of course, I know you are longing for this one. And many of you will know this. If you did a couple of my lessons and my improvisation school, the course, it's the drone lick. And it's almost anywhere, everywhere. So, and there you might ask. Oh, 
Hmm, something weird happened here, right? Because the, the blue scale is... Oh, this is the, the scale underlying this is the minor blue scale. Right? This drone is a ma built on the minor blue scale. But before I said we play the um, the major blue scale, which is this one, which doesn't have this one in, in it yet. So I changed the sound right now, and then I even managed to play the blue scale downwards. Um, hold on. Oh, okay. Major blue scale. Now I play this. The, the drone lick with the minor blue scale. And then my ears already trained to this to the other blue notes. And then suddenly I can even play the seven. And now I can even play the seven here. See, we are in a completely different sound now. Let's see if we can get back. Yes, we can. Again, we play major blue scale, major third. Then minor blue scale with a drone. And again. Blue scale. And then. And we are. We have the major third again, and we can play the minor, uh, major blues game. It's a matter of trying. Sometimes it fits, sometimes not, and there's really no rule. But my experience is the ear has to be, you can lead your ear, like you can e lead a good dog. Now the good dogs, they actually you cannot lead, but the, the house dogs, you know, um, <laughs> no, that's really stupid compare the ear to a dog but you can lead your ear that's what I wanted to say in very unliterary terms so um, if we prepare this uh, the ear for then for the blues sound for the blue, minor blues sound it's so all of a sudden seven and we can This is a nice lick and it's the last thing I show you here and then you can just play it. It's and here. It's always very, very nice. It's a relative to the in minor blues. It has the same architecture. Architecture. And here. Look. fast. Okay, I'm overdoing it to teach you. And again, swipe down here. You can just do this. You see? And there 
and some couple of octaves to give some meat to the whole thing. I hope you like that. I think I like this. Yes, I liked it. Bingo! Bingo! I liked it. Thanks for watching. It was a pleasure. And it's uh, Sunday morning. Saturday morning here in Germany. Which means on the other side of the world, it's now Wednesday evening. That's what I learned at school. Happy Wednesday. I hope you liked my video and that you learned something. Now you can subscribe. Just press this subscribe button or click on another of my videos on this side. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.